Hey guys, Magentas is back here today again with a Buddy Fight product opening. Uh, this time it's a uh, Buddy Fight Extra H Extra Booster Zero for uh, Buddy All Stars. So I'm really excited for this set because yeah, it supports a lot of different decks, especially the old decks. I mean, yeah. So let's just get on to box opening. So I know this is pretty late, I mean it's uh, a few days since the release but I have been overseas. So I got it uh, immediately when I came back. Okay, okay let's not tear that. Okay the promo card we got is Purgatory Knight's Eraser Hand Dragon. Yeah, you can read it yourself. Basically, some Purgatory Night promo card. Okay, 15 packs. 15 fresh packs. Let's get on with it. First pack. Oh, Dragon Arms Nano Brick. Star Hand Arms Controller. Okay. Hidden Secret Sword. Uh, Astraeus. New Ricky and Cerberus SD. Okay, we'll put the rest here. Okay, well, let's take a look at Ricky. Size 3 raising, Raging Spirits on your field gets 1 crit. Okay, and Lifeling 1. Simple. Armonite Cerberus SD. Put this card from your field into the soul of another monster. Of, of another Armonite monster on your field. When the armor knight with this card in soul attacks, you may pay one gauge if you do destroy a monster in your opponent's field. Yes, pretty strong, especially with uh, double attack armor knights like armor knight demon. Good with arm uh, armor knights with soul guard as well, I guess. Okay, fifth omni armored dragon thousand duchies yoko. Uh, armored dragon. Huh. Well, this is a really good card. When this card enters the field or is destroyed, put two cards from the top of your deck into your drop zone and you gain one life. So, I mean, it fills the drop zone for cards like uh, Star Guardian Jackknife that uh, uses cards from the drop zone. And of course, you gain one life both when, it's, uh, when it enters the field or destroyed. So, basically, you gain two from this monster. Really good. Okay, size zero, Dragon Arms, uh, deal one damage to your opponent. Man who answers for justice. Okay, so Captain Answer Support, you get to look at the tech. Look look at the top card of your deck now. Pretty good. Uh Raging Spirits Weapon. Yeah. And Tembu SD. So Tembu SD when this card uh when this card enters the field, either destroy a size one or less monster on your opponent's field or put a soul from a card of your opponent's field into his or her drop zone. Pretty good. I mean, its stats are okay, but it's an Omni lot. It can be used in any deck. So I'll just leave it up first. Double ray. So I heard that uh, you get five double rays from the set and two triple rays. Okay, result of dragon uh, wrath of dragon for raging spirits. Okay, new hundred demon spell. Uh, basically something like the devil's advantage. 5th Omni Dragon Fist Roaring Flame uh, It's an item that also acts as a set spell that buffs your monsters Okay, uh, stop right there Pay 1 gauge, pay 1 life, rest the monster on your opponent's field uh, You may only cast this card if you have no monsters on your field So it's pretty much Dark Hero support uh, Another Armored Dragon Take 1 damage and give it 1 crit or give it 3k power And we get 5th Omni Cavalry Dragon Lightroom Elliot This card, I love this card Basically, it works really well in uh, life gaining decks, uh, especially when you have another fifth omni monster. So basically, this card uh, you gain life while it will have normal stats. Like at one crit, it will just be a bear trap fang or whatever dragon. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, constant life gain is always good. So that's our triple rare, our first triple rare slot. 
Okay, Hades X Demon Win Slash. Play one gauge when this card attacks, destroy size one or less monster on your opponent's field. Uh, you may you cannot call monsters on your center. Okay, decent, really good actually. 4k three crits. Okay, radiate burst gamma radius. Uh, pay three gauge and put up to three dragon arms from my field into this card. So, wow, I like this card. 3 gauge and it has it starts with 3 soul, of course you can increase its soul uh, subsequently with size 0 uh, size 0 uh, dragon arms ok, Enma Alliance Jet Cow if you have a size 3 raising spirits on your field you may pay 1 gauge if you do put this card from your hand into the soul of a size 3 monster on your field ok, when the raging spirits with this card in your soul attacks for this turn uh, that raging spirits get 3k power and uh, destroy a soul of your opponent's card. So really good uh, with uh, soul guard monsters, I guess. Billion Knuckle would work well. Yeah, that's all I can think of. A handful of rewards. Uh, knight consistency spell. When a knight on your field is destroyed, gain one life and put a knight monster or item from a drop zone into your hand. Okay, another Ricky. Dragon Baby Ricky, if your other Raging Spirits would leave the field, you may put this card into your drop zone. If you do, that card remains on the field. So basically, pay 1 life as well because it has life link 1. Demon Way Arakuyo, pay 1 gauge to draw 3 cards. You may only cast this card if 2 or more Skull Warrior on your field were destroyed this turn. I like this card. It's definitely gonna go into my uh, Skull Warriors deck. Okay. Next pack. Oh, this pack is pretty heavy. Maybe we'll get something good. Okay, final battleground, Vigrior. Uh, when you cast a card with great spell in its card name, draw two cards and put this card into a drop zone. You may only set one of this card on your field. Fifth Omni Armored Dragon Thunder Blade Ku Kokuyo. Uh, increase your gauge by two and take two damage. This is really crappy. Basically, I'm trading health for a uh, gauge, and its stats are really, really bad. Okay, put a monster with shadow, shadow, sh uh, uh, shadow die from a drop zone into your hand. Not really good. I think Nightmare Revive is better. Just saying. Okay, we get a Roaring Flame Parallel Foil. Okay, I'm stoked. And Fifth Omni Divine Arts Giga Howling Phantom. Pay 3 gauge, notify the attack, and deal 2 damage to your opponent. Wow, it's really good because it's an impact card. Basically, uh, cards that nullify spells cannot nullify impacts, so basically you can save yourself from a uh, Fang Dragon Declaration or something like that. So you may only cast this card if you are being attacked and you have an item equipped. 3 gauge for nullify and 2 damage is pretty decent, I like it. And Death Gaze Dragon SD. So, uh, similar to the old Death Gaze, uh, spe uh, Spectral Strike, similar, same stats, but when this when an attack by this card destroys his opponent's monster, put a card from your opponent's gauge into his or her drop zone. So that's the only difference, and this card does, does not have a call cost, but it has a call requirement if your body monster is a black dragon, and its Spectral Strike is only 1 damage. So, pretty good. Ah oh, yes, here. Next pack. Star Dragon will impact. Pay 3 gauge, deal 2 damage to your opponent, then uh, you may put up to 3 cards from the soul of a card on your field into your drop zone. If you do deal damage to your opponent equals to the, equal to the number of cards you put into the drop zone. Uh, so 3 gauge for potential 5 damage. Pretty decent, I guess, but can be reduced easily by uh, stuff like Gold Dragon Shield or stuff like Chillax. I wouldn't run it personally, I think Radiant Punisher is still better impact. Yeah, you may only cast this card with a 5 life or less and a size 2 or greater uh, new dragon is on your center and your opponent does not have a monster. Okay, this is too much bullshit. You need a size 2 or greater new dragon in your center. Maybe it works with uh, size 3 builds, like the Martial Fortress build. Okay, I'm not too sure. Okay, Champion of Arena, Roga. Uh, Size 1 Dungeon Roll Monster. Pay 1 gauge if you have 5 life or less. This card gets 
1k power and 1 crit penetrate. Okay, terraforming. Put a dragon arms from a field or dragon arms from the soul of a card on your field into your drop zone. Gain 4 life. Dragon guard Giri. Oh, it's why, why, why? You wanna fight? Okay, mm. new size 0 for raging spirits, like they do not have enough size 0s. Ideal girl Mary Sue. Yes, I'm looking for this card. Okay, to support my troll, troll ass uh, wizard build. So basically, when this card enters the field, you may return a size 2 or less monster from the field into its owner's hand. All mine only activates once per turn. So it works really well with uh, cards like Quick Summon or Speed Summon. So you can call him out during your opponent's turn and use it as something like a magical goodbye. And lastly, we get one Cosmo Saber Go Rita. Yeah, you can pause it and read it. It's too long, I don't want to read it. So, uh, more Star Dragon World support. Okay, just leave it up and we'll put it with the other foils. Next pack. Okay, Dragon Revival. This is really good. Five or more different armor dragon in your drop zone. Gain four life. Okay, Absolute Attack. During this turn, during a battle in which a card on your field attacks an opponent's monster, your opponent cannot use or cast counter. Really good with uh, Black Dragons. Okay, 5th Omni Armored Dragon, Holy Scripture, He Sui. Uh, when you add that damage, pay 1 gauge, call this card from your hand to your center and you gain 1 life. Pretty good. Hungry Wolf Dragon Emperor, H Knuckle. Pay 1 gauge when an opponent's card attacks. Change the attack to this card, Raging Spirit's Effect. If this card is the only card attacking, this card's attack cannot be nullified. Respective battles, uh, blah blah blah, gain 2 life or ride a monster with right from a drop zone into it by paying its right cost. And boy transformation, uh, Yamigitsune. I like this card, uh, it goes really well into my Skull Warriors deck. Uh, okay, nothing to it. I mean, uh, it helps to deal bonus damage. Okay, size 1 Nail Dragon with Soul Guard with 3 crits. Pretty good. Put a Dragon Arms monster from a drop zone into your hand. Arms reboot. Dragonic Endure. Basically, something like. Uh, basically, the 3 gauge spell for Dragon Ball. I mean, it works like Bold Retaliation. When you are dark damage, only then you can use it. Okay, Star Support. Okay, basically it's a dragon barrier effect, and then uh, increase your gauge if you have star on the left or right. New Demon Godo. Wow. When this card enters the field, search a deck for up to one monster Demon Godo in its card name, put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. You may only use Founder of Dragon Star Martial Arts once per turn. If this card is in the soul, look at this typo. Why is there a spacing there? If this card is in the soul of a monster, Demon Golo is its card name, that monster gets 2k power, 2k defense. So it works well in the soul, and of course, it's a free plus when on call. So you call him, and you get a free card uh, from your deck, and you can evolve your Demon Golo with this. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, and we get Shots SD, Dark Hero support. Okay, when he enters the field, discard Dark Hero from your hand. If you do, put the top two cards of your deck into your gauge. Basically, the card discarded becomes like a Dragonic a Charge, so you increase your gauge. And at the end of the battle, this card return this card to your hand. So you hit and you return, so something like Boomerang Dragon. It's really good in Dark Heroes because you want a guaranteed return instead of something like Darkness Fist Gwen, which is only a conditional return, only if you do damage to your opponent. Okay, you may only cast this card with 3 or more, 72 pillars on your field. Pay 2 gauge, return up to 2 monsters from the field to its owner's hand. Wow, it works as... You can use it offensively or defensively, as long as you have 3 or more, 72 pillars. So either you have like a size 3 build or a size 1 rush build. Okay, Enma Alliance, Q means size 1 monster. 
put this card from your field into your drop zone and this card card from your hand. If you do call a raging spirits monster from your drop zone, my pain is called cost. Wow, pretty good. Basically pay one life and discard a card. And you can uh re summon a raging spirits monster. And my alliance card billy uh basically becomes a size zero. If you have a size three raging spirit. Okay, size zero is three crits, really good. Parallel four I stop right there. Okay, whatever, we'll just put it somewhere there. Dragon Emperor Legend reprint. Basically it's the what's this? Raging Spirits artwork. And lastly we get one Dragon Arms Garber Anchor. Okay, next pack. Brown Dwarf Kruger. Size 0 Neo Dragon with better stats than Amana Eagle. Death Ruler's Galo Death Ruler Galo's SD Shadow Dive and when this card attacks I deal damage to your opponent if you have another death on your field you gain one life. Size 0 monster. Crimson Battler Halbert Gauntlet. I'm gonna use this in my Crimson Control deck, which is a totally different variant of the Crimson deck, but it's still pretty good. Basically it's stronger than Halbert Dragon if you have an item equipped with fist in its card name and of course it's much better than uh, Boosted Dragon not Boosted Dragon is that his name? Uh, I have no idea there's a card that gets moved when you have an item equipped alright Space Elevator such a death of one monster put it into your drop zone and shuffle the deck then you may put that card on the top of the deck nothing to it uh, size 2 wizard support Destroy size 3 monster because of the uprising of Raging Spirits decks. Hit card alert. Alright, we got 5th Omni Dragon Lord Crimson Drum, my favorite card in the set because he's gonna go right into my deck. But first, let's get him into the sleeve. He's an Omni Lord, pay 2 gauge and put the top card of your deck into his soul. When you attack, pay 1 life, change the target of the attack to this card. Soul Guard. Yeah, 6k power, 2 crit, 6k defense. Basically, a uh, Raging Spirits effect. Somewhat Raging Spirits ish. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. So, it works really well with cards like uh, Dragon Bond and cards like Dragon Barrier, etc. etc. Whatever, okay, next pack. So far, we have yet to see our second Triple Rare. Okay, so it's two monster. So it's new Dragon of Soul Guard, generic support. Alright, another of this. In my alliance. You have a size 3 monster on your field, you may discard this card from your hand and pay 1 life. Choose a monster in, your, in battle on your field and for this battle that monster gets 5k defense. Okay, what's this? Secret Sword Starlight. When a monster on your field is destroyed and this card is in a soul of Secret Sword Little Formation, you may cast it. P2 gauge, destroy a size 2 or less monster and I put them on your opponent's field if you do deal, dam deal 2 damage to your opponent. Okay, it's pretty viable in uh, Skull Warriors if they actually run a uh, little formation. Okay, another Enma Alliance, Regen Thorn. Uh, when this card enters the field, put one Raging Spirits from your deck into your drop zone and shuffle your deck. When this card is put from your field or deck into your drop zone, put the top card of your deck into your cage. Basically, you can throw himself from the deck into the drop zone. And our second triple rare is Star Guardian Jackknife SD. Not really excited about it because I do not have my Jackknife deck anymore. Okay, pretty good card. I mean, cost has two new dragon from a drop zone on top of this card by paying its call cost. Basically, acts as your size 2 boss monster. Dragon Arms Charger. Pay one gauge draw a card. When this card is put into a soul of a new dragon from a field or drop zone. Okay, loyal dragons and courage. There are too many words here, please. Okay, I'm gonna zoom it in from you. Hold on, focus, come on. Okay, you can pause it right now and look at this. I'm not gonna read it. Dragon Desperate. Uh, Resting support for Dragon Wall. 
and you take one damage, so it's really good for fifth omni builds. Yeah, rest of size two or less monster or an item on your opponent's field, so it works as barbed wire or disturb. Okay, parallel foil, Ricky, uh, new sylph. Equip an item from a drop zone by paying its equip cost, or call a wider circle monster from a drop zone by paying its call cost. Pay one gauge, pay one life. Wow, not really good. And we get Biakuya SD. If you have a monster with Suki Kage and its card name on your field, this card gets one crit shadow dive. Okay, not really, not really spectacular, but whatever. It's more Biakuyas to run with Gu DD, uh, the Gu DD combination. Okay, Surges of Dragon and Life. Uh, basically, your Ref Trigger without the Pay Life and Counter Attack. Only for Raging Spirits, though. No. Okay, Star Hand. Nameless Assassin. One more set. Stand a monster with Esmoda and it's cutting on a few. Okay, this is really awesome. Basically, uh, Magic World becomes the Nova Grappler of Buddy Fight with multiple attacks. Nova Grappler on, uh, what's that? Uh, Aqua Force. Alright, Speed of Light, Try Elements. Pay 2 gauge. You may only cast this card if you have a new Dragon Monster in your field. You may call a new Dragon Monster from your hand or drop zone by paying its call cost. Then you have, have, if you have 3 or more new Dragon Monsters on your field, deal uh, 3 damage to your opponent. Basically, it's the Deuce Brother support. And we get Nano Machine Ninja Suki Kage SD. Alright, in case you didn't know uh, these two cards, basically in the anime they are brothers and of course they form legion with each other. So as you can see this is how their art is supposed to look like. Yes? Okay, that's good. Alright, let's get with the actual Suki Kage SD effect. When this card enters the field, pay one gauge, call a monster with Biakuya and its card name from a drop zone by paying its call cost. If this card is in the soul of a ninja monster, that monster gets 1k power and 1k defense. So it powers up the Gu Deity Gojimaru. Okay, it's a double red, we have to sleeve it up. Yeah, can't seem to sleeve this. Okay, there we go. Okay, how many packs are we left? One pack, two packs. Okay, come on, SP, where's the SP at? Okay. All deals, uh, Spellmion. Okay, basically, more deals brothers support. You can really and try and understand. Basically, it's a free plus every turn if you have three new dragons. Okay, another of this card, Astrius. 